I said this before, but some people weren't agreeing with me. But the fact is Boston Dynamics is far more advanced in robotics compared to Tesla. And now with this new partnership that they have with the Toyota Research Institute, they are about to bring an insane level of autonomy to the new Atlas humanoid robot like we have never seen before. You see, while Tesla's robots have shown potential, their approach has mostly revolved around remote controlled systems that still depend on human input to function effectively. Everyone knows that when it comes to robotics, Boston Dynamics track record is unmatched. Their robots have always been at the cutting edge of engineering and AI. If you think about robotics, you will always think about their iconic four-legged robot like Spot or the earlier iterations of Atlas, which was a machine that could jump, run and flip like an Olympic gymnast. For a while now, the Toyota Research Institute has been developing cutting-edge AI systems known as large behaviour models. These models work similarly to the large language models that power platforms like ChatGPT but are designed for physical tasks. What I mean is, LBMs allow robots to learn complex behaviours more efficiently than ever before, enabling them to handle tasks with greater precision and autonomy. Therefore, you see with TRI's AI expertise and Boston Dynamics' superior hardware in Atlas, they're looking to build robots that Optimus Robot cannot match as of now. The thing is, for Tesla, while their humanoid robot prototype like Optimus has been impressive in certain areas, they still lag in achieving the level of autonomy that Boston Dynamics and TRI are aiming for. Tesla's robots can perform simple tasks when controlled by a human operator, but Boston Dynamics as of now has robots that can perform some tasks autonomously, and now with the collaboration with TRI, they are working on creating robots that can perform these tasks by learning using very few training examples like just a dozen. TRI work on LBMs allows robots to learn from fewer training examples unlike in the past, where machine learning required millions of cases for a robot to know how to do a single task. TRI has shown that robots can reach a 90% success rate in tasks like flipping pancakes after just a few dozen examples. This breakthrough means robots can learn complex behaviours much faster without endless repetitions. Which, to be honest, it is a monumental leap forward for robotics because physical robots, unlike software-based systems, usually face wear and tear. Boston Dynamics has always been known for building robots with impressive physical capabilities, and the new electric Atlas is no exception. Atlas is a powerhouse with the strength to do push-ups and jump with ease, but what it needed was smarter AI to make use of that strength. And that's where Tri comes in. Tri's LBMs will enable Atlas to not only manipulate objects, but also understand how to use them in various contexts. The thing that sets Boston Dynamics apart from its competitors is its commitment to advancing fundamental robotics research. Unlike your favourite company Tesla, which has opted to build its AI team's in-house Boston Dynamics, recognises the value of partnerships like the one with TRI. This collaboration allows both companies to focus on solving complex challenges, from manipulation and dexterity to human-robot interaction and safety. Tesla may be good at building cars, but when it comes to cutting-edge robotics, they're playing catch-up. It's also worth noting that Boston Dynamics and TRI's partnership is unique in that they are sharing their research findings. This means that the breakthroughs they achieve together will not only benefit their own robots, but could also advance the entire field of robotics by focusing on the hard problems and pushing the limits of what robots can do. Boston Dynamics and TRI are setting themselves up as leaders in the next generation of autonomous machines.